Welcome to our review module. Let's start by building a new review. To do that, navigate to the top left and select Create Request. Here we are presented with many options that we may choose for a review. We begin by selecting our reviewers and approvers. Reviewers are individuals who provide comment feedback only. Approvers can provide comment feedback and decide whether to approve or reject different work items. Let's add an approver for this review. In this case, the approver will be my account. Let's give this review a title. Review request. The field is highlighted in yellow because it is mandatory. Following that, we will proceed to write the review message. This is the body of our automated email notification. We can now start adding work items to be reviewed. To do this, simply choose Add Work Item here. We have three options to bring in work items into this review. The first option employs the query tool, which enables us to select a previously created query such as review requests for round one. This will retrieve all the work items from that query. The user has the option to choose either the individual work items or multiple work items by control click. Otherwise, they can click on Select All and OK to bring in all the work items that are part of that query. After this, the work items are added to the review request. This window also allows us to specify the area path for the feedback request work item we want to be generated. Let's leave this area path blank, but you may fill it in if necessary. You can also select a due date for review or approval. The default at the current day plus seven days. However, the user has the option of changing the due date to meet their needs. Let's leave this due date in its default setting. We also have some options to establish some rules for this review. One rule is to approve as package and not individually. This means that all work items have to be approved or rejected collectively. An individual reviewer can not selectively accept or reject a specific item. This option is commonly used when starting an iteration to ensure everyone is on the same page. We will leave this unchecked. The next option is Ask User for Password on Approval. This is a CFR Part 11 compliance e-signature feature that requires a user to provide their TFS login credentials in case of an on-prem application. For an on-cloud application, they must create a user ID or PD. Please refer to our blog on the Modern Requirements website to approve or reject a work item. The third option is the ability to automatically change the state of work items in the review once different work items are approved. For example, in the current review, all the work items are active. We can configure them to switch to new once all of the work items are approved. To do this, we set pre-state as active, filtering the list for the items in the active state. Then, we set the post state to new. We can now specify that this change occurs when either a specific work item is approved by all approvals or when all work items are approved by all approvals. This means that all work items must be approved by everyone before any state change occurs. Next, we can preview our review request by clicking the preview button. The review request that we have created will be emailed to the participants of the review if you click the send button. Inside the email, we can see the purpose or the message that we created. The user has to click on the link to begin participating in the review. Let's go ahead and send this review request by clicking the send button.